The latest new launch coming up in the Jurong East area, is it worth your money? Let's dive straight into it. Hi everyone, this is Pete here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about one of the latest Singapore new launch and that is none other than Jaden. Okay, so by the sound of it, right, I think you already know where this is going to be, right? Because they have a sister project called J Gateway. Okay, so what is Jaden? Jaden is actually the previous J Cube. Right, where it has a lot of very good memories for me because I used to go there for ice skating and a lot of other activities. So it's quite sad that it's going away, but it is going to be revamped into something better because this is actually not an on block or a government land sale, but it's actually a redevelopment by Capital Land themselves, right? So they are already owners of JCube, and I think they're pretty smart here because they felt that hey, JCube has nothing uh, that is beneficial in terms of residential estate, so they're going to reconvert it into a mixed development where there are residential on top and the first four floors will still be commercial uh, entities, right? Will this work out for them? So today in this video, we're going to find out like, is it worth your while to take a look at Jaden? So the first thing to take note of for the Jurong East area is that there is a lack of condos, a lack of private condos. Why? Because if you look at a picture over here, there's only a few condos on top of Jaden, right? So currently there's J Gateway, the very famous one, and there's one more called Ivory Heights, right? So actually Jaden will be the third one in the area. So this makes Jaden the first condo to be launched in the Jurong East area in 11 years, okay? And I would say for Ivory Heights, I wouldn't even think about it as a form of comparison later on because it is such an old project back in 1986, right? So the nearest one is actually J Gateway back in 2012. Now, what is the most attractive point or the significant development that's happening in Jurong East? None other than the Jurong Lake District development, right? So this development has been ongoing for a long time and right now it's being announced that they're going to build another 1,700 housing units. On top of that, they are going to increase the office space by 1.6 million square foot. Now, what does this translate to? This translates to, in the long term, Jurong Lake District is going to have another 100,000 new jobs, right? Together with another 20,000 homes. So, I really like this because generally when you want to buy an area, you want to buy an area with potential, right? And how do you know that the price is going to continue to increase? Is when there are more people wanting to stay in the area, right? So if you create more jobs, more homes, this is generally very positive for Jurong East area. Now, on top of the Jurong Lake District development, another thing that has been talked about in the past, but it was shelved for a while, but right now it's being rejuvenated, is none other than the high-speed rail terminal. Okay, so this is going to be right at the doorstep uh, of Jaden. Okay, so Jaden is somewhere around here. Okay, and over here, this whole area here is going to be the high speed rail, right? So it's already slated for, in fact, if you look at it, right, uh, the high speed rail will bring you all the way uh, to Kuala Lumpur, right? So this would potentially make the Jurong East area, right? the second Changi Airport. Why do I say that? Because usually when people fly, they will go to Changi Airport. But if this time round, you want to leave the country via another means, via train, then Jurong East will be the hub, right? The terminal for departure. Right now, what we are seeing is that the whole area for Jurong Lake District is really centered upon making Jurong Lake District the new central, right? The new central as compared to the CBD. Now, other than the high-speed rail, one more thing that's coming up in terms of transportation is actually this, right? The Jurong Region Line, right? This is something that hasn't been talked about uh, a lot, but it makes Jurong East one of the very few stations where there are not one, not two, but three MRTs intersecting in just one station. So imagine, right? Think about it. Jaden is right beside Jurong East MRT, less than a 300 meter walk. Right, so it's a very big transport hub, and I think this is going to greatly benefit uh, Jaden as a project. Now, for the whole Jurong Lake District, if we put everything together, right, you can see that this year there's a couple of things that's happening. For example, the Jurong Lake Garden is going to uh, open the northern section, right? We're going to have the business city coming up, and the launch of the master developer sales site that I told you just now, where they're going to build about 1,700 units. Okay, and by next year, they will expect the complete rejuvenation of the Jurong Lake Gardens area, right? The Chinese garden and the Japanese garden. And going even beyond that, the government has planned so many things, right? For example, 2027, they're going to have the new transport hub in Jurong East and the new science center. By 2029, they expect the Jurong Region line, 
right, is going to be complete. That will make Jurong East the triple station. And last but not least, the cross island line should be completed by 2032. And in addition, in the later timeline, they even think about relocating some of the major ministries such as MND, MSC, and also Ministry of Transport and Land Authorities to the Jurong Lake District. So these, where are these ministries right now? Actually, these ministries are right now at the very center of Singapore and they want to move it over to the Jurong area. So you can tell that the government's plan for Jurong is big, right? And they are not just talking, they are even doing it as well. With that said, let's look at prices. What is a good price for Jaden to be uh, bought at? Currently, if you compare, I couldn't find any new condos nearby except for J Gateway. But let's look at J Gateway later on. How about we go a bit further, right? So this is uh, Jaden. If you look over here, this is at the uh, AYE Expressway, right? You can see there's actually a two projects here that's pretty new. Whistler Grand that's launched last year and Park Rivera that just TOP in 2019. Now, both of them are going at about 1,900 and 1,800 per square foot, respectively. They are not near any MRT stations. They are not near any amenities such as uh, Jaden, right? So now let's look at Lake Garden Residences. This was a new launch this year, earlier in 2023. And the average price range between 2,100 to 2,360 PSF. Now, this is not near any MRT station. In fact, the nearest MRT station is about one kilometer away and it doesn't have any nearby amenities such as malls, right? Which uh, Jaden would definitely have because you can see Westgate is here, Jam is here. So what should Jaden be priced at, right? So this gives us a very good indication like what is the rough price? And right now, when we look at the latest transaction for Lake Garden Residences, it is already reaching 2,300 for the large size unit. So that also means the smaller size unit selling from now should easily be above 2,300, okay? Now, last but not least, let's come back to the central of Jurong East and the comparison will be towards J Gateway, okay? Now, if you look at J Gateway right now, the overall prices has been ranging about 1,900 and 1,800, but recently there was a very small one bidder that had a record price of 2,100 PSF. Now, it's good to notice that this one beta is at a very high floor, at the 34th floor, right? So therefore, the PSF is significantly higher. But what this also means is that this sets the start of a new trend where it is no longer unimaginable for the Jurong East area, right? To see 2,100 per square foot, even in the resale segment. So for Jaden in the new law segment, what price is it going to be? The good news is that the capital land development has already given us a clue, right? So the news article came out yesterday talking about Jaden's starting price at 2,100 PSF. Oh my goodness. But before you get too happy and too excited, just take note that this is likely going to be the large size unit such as the 4 beta or even the large 3 beta. okay? So if you look at the smaller units, likely going to be about 2,200 plus or even 2,300 plus, okay? But... Is this price worth it or not? So when I compile all those condos that I mentioned earlier on, right, and put them onto this table, you can see that actually a good price for Jaden will be ranging between 2,300 to 2,400 per square foot, okay? So I think overall, the large part about buying Jaden, if you're buying for investment, has to be lynching on the fact that the whole Jurong Lake District will be transformed and created into the new central area of Singapore, right? And if this dream of the new central were to come to fruition, then I think it is very interesting to see that the central area PSF, right, is actually currently at 2,300 or maybe even 2,200. But will Capital Land really launch at this price? It really remains to be seen. Now let's look at unique mix right now, all right? So you can see over here, these are the various sizes. Very interestingly, right? Uh, firstly, the largest size unit goes only about four beta. There isn't any five beta here. But on top of that, the way that Capital Land uh, segment this whole development is also very focused on own stay buyers. Why? Because you can see that the smaller size unit, right, from two beta and downwards, right, is only about 30%, whereas two bed plus study onwards, okay, actually is responsible for 70% of the unit, right? I think this is generally a very good sign. That means the developer is not just gunning for investors, but they are really looking forward to provide a very good value place, right, for own stayer to buy as well.
Okay, now let's look at the different sizes over here, starting from two beta, right? So for two beta, the size is actually pretty huge, okay, at 710 square feet. So you would think that this is a two bed, two bath, but unfortunately, there's only one bathroom here, right? So this is a fairly huge two bed, one bath, okay? So if I were to give you an estimate to say that this may be selling at 2,400 per square foot, then this will work out to be about $1.7 million. Okay, now if you want a two bed, two bath, then your only option is to go for the two bed plus study. Okay, so you can see here for the two bed plus study, there are two sizes, 818 square foot and 850 square foot. Now, what is the difference? Where did that 32 square foot go? Basically, it is the kitchen. Okay, you can see that for this smaller size is an open kitchen concept, whereas the bigger one is actually an enclosed kitchen concept. But the good thing is that both of these are two bed, two bath, okay? Now, if I use about 2,300 plus plus, then your range of quantum for this two bed plus study will be about 1.9 to $2 million, okay? Now, last but not least, let's go to the three bedder, which is likely going to be the most popular size, right? And I really like how Capitaland size it because these days, the most common complaint is the three bedders are too small, right? We have seen like... 900 plus square foot tree bader, even 800 plus foot tree bader, okay? But this time round, Capitaland gave a very good size of 1,141 square foot. So it's a very good size. But the good thing is, size is great. The downside is when it's huge size, that means the quantum is a little bit higher, right? Looking at it right now, I do expect it to be around 2.6 million onwards. Now, what is another attractive point about this tree bedroom is that if you like a big master bedroom, this is potentially what you want to go after because this is close to 18 square meter. Whereas a normal bedroom usually is about 10, right? So this is almost double the size uh, of a bedroom, okay? So if you want a large master bedroom, this is for you. But if you're someone that really don't really mind a smaller bedroom, you rather have a bigger dining and living space, then this might be uh, something to consider as well. Next thing is this, how does Jaden compare to other new launches this year in 2023, right? So first up, we have reserved residence over here, right? The integrated project uh, in the Hillview area, 2,489 per square foot. But you can see that it is really popular because 85% of them were sold, rightfully so, because it's right next to the train station, there's a mall to support it, right? and it's a very good location as well, right? The next one we have is actually Lentor Hill. Okay, so Lentor Hill currently, uh, last few transacted on average about 2,100 per square foot, right? Pretty decent, about 65% sold. So I think for the location, and of course, it's also near the MRT, there's also a mall to support it, right? This price is also quite reasonable, and that's why you can see the demand is quite high, okay? Now, going more central, where where we have below reserve is actually Blossoms and Pine Tree, right? So these two are closer to uh, the Dover and the Bona Vista area. You can see that the PSF is also very similar to reserve, 2,400, 2,300 plus, but Blossom clearly did a lot better because it's in the Bona Vista region, whereas Pine Tree Hill, well, not so well, about 36%, but actually the location is pretty good, right? It's in the Pine Grove area. Now, the one that... Uh, it's still struggling quite a fair bit uh, is the East Coast Tree Musketeer, right? Who are the Tree Musketeer? Basically, those three that launched about the same time, uh, Tembusu Grand, Grand Daman, and Continuum. All right, these guys sold fairly poorly even after for so long, right? 58%, 57% for Grand Daman and uh, measly 33% for Continuum. The main reason is very simple. Yes, they may be close to a MRT or sort, but there isn't other attractive points. And most importantly, there isn't any new development in the area. For example, Lentor is still developing, the Beauty World site is still developing, same for Buena Vista. But really for the Tanjong Katong East Coast area, it's pretty much fixed, right? And on top of that, you can see that the PSF, although they are not technically uh, in the in the RCR region, but you can see that the price is so high. Okay, granted, Continuum is a freehold, but really the prices are way too high. Okay, so that's why it is not performing as well. So generally, when I talk to my clients on my property one on one consult, this is the kind of comparison that I will show them and say, hey, you know, think about it. What kind of pricing you want to go for, and what kind of development you want to go for? Okay, so for Jaden, I think if you can price at about two thousand three hundred and fifty PSF, given that it is right next to the MRT with so much development happening and it's very convenient, right? There are malls around you. There's even a park near you, right? The Jurong Lake Gardens is so nice. I think it's perhaps 
having the plus point, taking the best of all the projects and putting it into one. Okay, the only thing is that Jurong definitely is not as central as let's say Reserve or Blossoms or Pine Tree. But having said that, with the government's emphasis to bring so much business activity, so much CBD stuff, right, into Jurong Lake District, could this be the new central once again? Okay, so how many percent will be sold? This remains to be a question mark, right? But really, if it's able to sell at the price that I'm predicting, I'm also predicting that this project will be fairly hot, right? It will sell between 70 to 80% during launch. So guys, what do you think about Jaden? Are you going down to Jaden this weekend to have a look? And once again, guys, for those of you who haven't gotten an appointment to Jaden right now, the partner agents that I'm working with, they are actually bringing down a lot of the, my one-on-one -on -one members to go and have a look. So if you need help to go and have a look and you want me to do even more analysis for you within Jaden, for example, looking at which stack, what is potentially a good facing, what price you should be looking at, okay? Fill in this form over here, right? I'll just open up the application for now. Do indicate in the form that you are looking at Jaden so that the agents that I partner with can look for you directly. All right, guys, so I hope you find this video useful. If you like such content, do like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.